Hey, my name's Dylan Price, and I uh, work on a family farm. My dad and my brother, we grow cotton, soybeans, and peanuts. Uh, cotton is our main crop, and I uh, started growing, my dad started growing back in the 80s, and uh, we're, we're still hard at it. We farm in Brooks County. This is actually our home uh, farm here. It's been in our family for generations. Uh, with Jen at BCT. So I, I grew up on the farm. That's what I did after school and just took a big interest in it early. And uh, I always liked being around a tractor, to be honest with you. That's, that really piqued my interest in it, big equipment. After school, I come straight to the farm. And, uh, we started, I started on more on the technical side with precision ag, uh, running GPS and precision fertilize. I got that started on the uh, family farm. We mostly grow cotton, but now we're leaning a little bit more into soybeans, taking that from our peanut acres, just cause the, where the market is right now, and we can make high yields of those soybeans too, especially in this irrigated dirt. That's why we're, we're incorporating more soybeans now than we ever have. Here on our family farm, it's been in our family for six generations. We have a wheat cover crop here. At, uh, we, we grow tended a lot to grow wheat because it doesn't get as tall and rank as some other like your rye and triticale stuff like that. Try to keep it a little thin too so we can rip in it easy with our planters. We're uh, strictly strip till. We don't break any ground and it's a really good cover crop for us. It's worked for a long time for us. We grow the cover crop for to help with soil erosion and we also strip till for the same reason. We don't have to break our ground. It doesn't get washed through the creek and it just it helps the way we feel it helps tend the land a lot better. Our rotation is for, to keep our ground healthy, really. And whether you have our soybeans or peanuts here, next year, this will be the third year we've had cotton on in a row, but we'll put soybeans or peanuts. Um, really doesn't matter to us which one goes there as long as we keep that lagoon going. Where the cotton market is now, I know we stand a chance to, mo to not make a huge profit this year, but we're invested with our equipment, with our land, and actually with our gin and our community to grow cotton. So we're going, we're going to stick with it and, and fight it out, regardless where it is, where the market is in April when we start planting. For the consumer, I would like for them to know that we take care of our land and the environment. Our cotton is clean, it's good quality, and simple people are farming it, or, or making it, and getting it to the to the gin that's getting it to the mill. It's, it's not coming from overseas or you know places like that. It's coming from right here in, in Georgia.